This is the chapter 5 practice test number 5, the last one. We have two blocks arranged in this little system here, and they're released from rest. The constant force of friction between the 4 kilogram block and the table is 5 newtons. We want to find the speed of this block, and indeed the entire system, after this block has fallen 3.1 meters. Okay, so I tried to sketch, <laughs> I tried to re-sketch the, uh, the problem here. Um, oh, I forgot. I'm going to need this. Delta height will be 3.1 meters. Okay. Go full screen. All right, so basically what we have here is the stuff in black is your initial stuff. Okay. So block starts here, block starts there, uh, starts from rest. And let's just establish, um, let's go ahead and say that at that point, that two kilogram block is at a height of 3.1 meters. Then, after a little time later, this has moved, and this block is hanging further down. In fact, I'm going to say that now it is at zero meters, so that it has fallen 3.1 meters. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, if this has fallen 3.1 meters, then this has moved 3.1 meters, because they're attached by the same piece of rope, and I'm going to assume the rope is not stretchy. Unless they tell you it's a bungee cord or something, you can assume that the ropes and strings and chains and stuff don't, don't stretch. Okay, now, you could do this. You could do this with free body diagrams and um, kinematics and Newton's second law. It's doable, totally doable. And you can do it that way if you really want to. But this test is about friction and work and power and stuff like that. So we're going to use energy considerations. I didn't specify you had to, but I'm going to. So I'm going to start with um, initial energy plus any work that's done by outside forces. Why did I put a delta? I don't even know this is the last video and I almost done and I'm getting sloppy at the end here that's why okay um, it's gonna equal the final energy okay well the initial energy I have is um, let's say this is a height of zero as well for that guy basically the only initial energy I have to start with is the gravitational potential energy of this guy so that's gonna be M G H plus work done. Well, the work that's going to get done is this force on this block for this distance. But friction will be that way. So I'll be doing negative work since the distance it travels and the friction are in opposite directions. So that's going to be um, negative friction times change in distance that it goes, which is the same as the height, so I should, uh, well, I'll do that later, okay, equals. At the end, this will have fallen to zero, so it will have no more potential energy, however, it will be moving, and so will this one, Let me do some different color, okay, this will be moving too, with some velocity, and this. They will both be moving with the same velocity because they are attached by a rope. They are together, chained together. Like those guys in Oh Brother, Where Out Thou? Anyway, um, so we have to do the final kinetic energy, but of both of them. Okay? Both of them are moving. Both of them have kinetic energy. All right. So... If I put some stuff in here, I've got, uh, oh, by the way, this was the mass of the one that was hanging. So that's going to be 2 kilograms, Let's see if I can get the units in here this time, times 9.8 meters per second squared, times 3.1 meters. Okay, then we're going to have minus frictional force times how far it goes, which is, again, 3.1 meters. Okay equals, well, I've got the kinetic energy of one-half m 
of the kilo of the four kilogram and the kinetic energy of the two kilogram. Both of them. I have to have both of them. Okay. All right. The only thing I don't know is V, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to pull that V out. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to factor out the V squared at the end here. So what I'll have here in this term is just one half of four, which is two, plus I'm going to have one half of two, which is one. Okay. I still got all this stuff on the other side. I'm just doing the blue side really fast. Okay, so that's going to be 3v squared on that side. On the other side, I've got 2 times 9.8 times 3.1. That's going to give me um, 60.76 joules. 76 minus 5 times 3.1 would be 15.5. I just did that in my head, and I suck at math in my head, so somebody, if I did that wrong, um, send me a YouTube comment or something, but be nice, people. No trolls. I I have to approve comments, so yeah. All right, so yeah, 5 times 3 is 15, and then times the point 0.1 would be another 5. That should be fine. Uh, it's Saturday night. <laughs> okay, so then that means on the um, left-hand side here we'd get 45.26. Joules is going to equal 3V. So then V squared will be 45.26 divided by 3, which is 15.08 or 09. Whatever, I'm keeping it in my calculator to get rid of rounding errors. So V ends up being square root that. Come on. Uh, 3.88 meters per second. All right, that is the answer. Whenever I make a mistake, by the way, please let me know so that I don't teach people the wrong thing. Okay, so let's talk about points. Well, some sort of statement of energy conservation with work in it will get you a point. Either this or the long equation with terms crossed out that are zero. Either one is fine. Okay. You get a point for correctly identifying um, MGH. Now, you might have put this on the other side as final. Well, if you started this with 0 and this is negative 3.1, that, that would work too. Um, you get a point for correctly finding the work done uh, by the friction. So that's either getting this or putting in the numbers and, or, and just putting the number here either way is a point. Okay, so either you did this or you just went ahead and found the work uh, separately somehow and put it there. That's fine too. Okay, um, you get a point for figuring out that you have to do both kinetic energies, not just one. Um, and either this or writing out the one-half mv squared. Either, either way is fine. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four points. Let's do substituting the correct distance, substituting the correct height. Even though it's the same number, technically those are different substitutions. Oh, forgot the answer. One for the answer. Seven, 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 seven. Where else? Where else should we go? Um, oh, how about putting the correct mass in where the potential energy goes? So use the 2, not the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do 1 for the units, and how about 1 for the correct force of friction? Yes. Okay. Notice that this means that if you just do 5 times 3.1 in your head, and not showing me that that's friction times distance, you won't get those two points, so be careful. Okay. 